Hi everyone, I'm June. Today I'll be talking about soft CH and SCH in German language. Let's start with SCH because this one is easier for many of us. English speakers wouldn't have any problem with this pronunciation because English SH is the same as German SCH. But also, if you don't have this pronunciation in your mother tongue, don't be afraid. This can be learned. Say OO. The form of your lips is now round, right? Now lift your upper lip a little bit higher. OO. Then make a wind, like SH. This is the sound you have to have. SH. Schule, schön. There are teachers who say that you have to lift your tongue for this pronunciation, but actually there are two methods of placing the tongue. In my opinion, you don't need to think of the position of your tongue at all. The most important thing for this consonant is your lips and the air. If you practice it with closed vowels like o, u, ü, it will be easier to pronounce the CH. So schön. It is easier because your lips are already there. So schön. You just have to remember to lift your upper lip. So schüchtern. So hübsch. Frosch. Busch. If there is a S in front of a P or a T, it will be pronounced like sh as well, like Stein, Stuhl, Sport. CH is pronounced differently depending on the vowel which is standing in front of them. After the vowels, E, 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 Ö, Ü, Y, and the diphthongs, I, Oi, it will be pronounced like the soft ch. This consonant is formed front and very soft. The lips are relaxed. It's the big difference between ch and sch. Say e. The tip of your tongue is now on the lingual surfaces of the lower front teeth. Say e. Your lips are relaxed and leave the tongue there where it was. E. First, I would practice with the words that are ending with ich, dich, sich, teich, euch. Then practice the words that have ch in the middle. Fichte, riechen, streicheln. Also the words that are ending with t-i-g, d-i-g, l-i-g, l-i-c-h, and n-i-g will be pronounced like gütig, selig, ledig, sittlich, wenig. In case of having C-H-E-N as a diminutive form, it's pronounced like as well. Mädchen, Liedchen, Kaninchen, Eichhörnchen. Let's read a few texts from German fairy tales collected by the brothers Grimm. Spieglein, Spieglein an der Wand, wer ist die Schönste im ganzen Land? Frau Königin, ihr seid die Schönste hier, aber Schneewittchen ist tausendmal schöner als ihr. Bäumchen, rüttel dich und schüttel dich, wirf Gold und Silber über mich. Läuschen hat sich verbrannt, Flöhchen weint, Türchen knarrt, Besenchen kehrt, Wägelchen rennt. Mistchen brennt, Bäumchen schüttelt sich. Please like and subscribe and see you next week.